Hey yo, we're back. Roll intro. Now, who's hot, who not? Tell me who rock, who sell out in the stores? You tell me who flop, who cop the blue drop, who jewels got blocks, who mostly go she down to the blue drop. The same old pimp, mace, you know ain't nothing changed but my limp. Can't stop till I see my name on a blimp. Guarantee me and shells call it level up. You don't believe in Harlem world, nigga, double up. We don't play around, it's a bet, lay it down. Niggas didn't know me, 91, bet they know me. So before we get into this reaction, massive shout out goes to And yes, Barry, you are the MVP. Hey, yo, so check it. So before we get into this Frank Ocean Pyramids reaction, please remember to run up the likes on that like button. Please match the energy of that subscribe button and hit that post notification bell so you can be down every time I drop a video. And this um, this isn't going to be my first time listening to Frank Ocean, but this is my first time actually hearing this song called Pyramids. I really only listened to three songs from Frank Ocean. My, fa my absolute favorite that I've listened to him and I have on comment to repeat all the time when I listen to it is Swim Good. I love that song. And then the other song that I've heard is Godspeed and then um, Novocaine. So those are the three songs that I've listened to um, heavily of uh, Frank Ocean that I know of his. So I'm definitely anxious to get into this Pyramids track to see what this is about. So we're going to skip all the semantics and dive right into it. So let's go. Okay. Love his vocals. Right on that part when he's doing the ow ow ow, I love how echoing and almost it's not haunting but it's almost like a rejoicing type of vibe of like when you think about like how angels when they're like when you think of that with an uplifting type of vibe and then i also love how um, melodic the melody is because when i think of pyramids i think of like egypt and africa and it's giving me like this sense of like a mirage and i don't know if it's like the complexity of how he's singing and just the hypnotic sound and tone that he has to his voice at least for me that's what it's giving me i love that it's giving me like like this mirage type of like um energy where you almost can't see like in a di like you can't see in a distance of the imagery but you know it's there if, if that makes sense i love that let's get back into it Oh, I like that. I like that because it's giving me like a techno vibe. Like where you hear I like techno club. Will one get a future? Shining like diamonds in a rocky world. I keep keep bird. I skin like bronze and I hair like cashmere. As we march to the rhythm on the palace floor. And I love this part, so it's giving like a groovy 70s, 80s type of like skate skate ring, like when you go to the skate ring, like how they had like an ATL or like Austin Powers with Gold Member with Beyonce when she had the afro. And 
Frank Ocean's um, vocal control is so unmatched. Like I, like he's like one of those rare ones where he's able to go in and out of pockets like very seamless and very effortlessly. Like a lot of artists don't possess that skill. But when I listen to like like I said the um, three songs that I listen to, especially like I like I said I love Swim Good. Like I can listen to that in my car like all the time. Anytime I'm driving, that is like a song that I love because I love how melodic his voice sounds on that, and it almost sounds like the feeling where I get on Swim Good. I feel like he's underwater and he's singing, if that makes sense. And so I love, like I said, with this, like I'm getting like this, like Egyptian, like paradise type of vibe where I'm overseas. And uh, like you see something in the distance and it's a mirage, like you're lost inside of a sandy desert type of vibe. And you're trying to make your way around and trying to trying to find your way out type of um, feel that I'm getting. But let's dive back into this. <laughs> And another thing I wanted to mention about Frank Ocean, I love how he kind of masks his lyrics. Like you could think that his lyrics mean something completely different, but then like it'll be like he it'll have a whole completely like different meaning like with Godspeed with that being like the um relationship song and him basically you would think that he hates the person that he's with but he's actually wish he's like actually thankful for that person at least from my opinion he's thankful that that person has made him the man that who he is and he's wishing them well like even though it didn't work for us and we were kind of toxic for each other I'm wishing you well and I'm gonna sit there and keep on going with my life and take the things that I learned from you and become a better man let's get back into this yeah. from my black queen Cleopatra bad dreams Cleopatra Come on with your run. Love this beat. Ooh, I love that too. His beats are so complex. Just the melody, everything. Like you could tell he like really uses perfect execution and, and perfect like he really he's really selective on what he uses as beats to get his point across in his music if that makes sense. Big sun coming strong through the motel blinds, wake up to your girl. For now let's call it the patcher, the patcher. Okay, so I'm taking that this is the second part to the song Barry that you are talking about. Clear patcher, then your lipstick, clear patcher. In your six inch hills Ooh, come on. Gotcha. She's headed to the pyramid. Yeah, he's so illustrative with his lyrics too. Like She's he can paint you a picture like Picasso. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. 
working at the pyramid tonight. Okay, so if she's working at the pyramid, I wonder what's that symbolic of. Working at the pyramid tonight. Yeah. Working at the pyramid. Working at the pyramid tonight. Working at the pyramid. Working at the pyramid tonight. Pimping in my convo. Hey. Bubbles in my champagne. Let it be some jazz playing. Top floor motel suite. Twisting my cigars, floor model TV with the VCR. Got hey, come on. My damn he grooving. He's skating on this beat. Figure eight, they Michelle no Kwan. Tank, come on. She's shaking in her boots got right now. For me. Hit the strip and my bills pay. That keep my bills pay. Hit the strip and my bills pay. Keep a nigga bills pay. Ooh. She's working at the pyramid tonight. Come on, working friend. Working at the pyramid. Yeah, yeah. Working at the pyramid tonight. Yeah, yeah. Working at the pyramid. His execution oh, on this part is so working amazing. At I love the it. Tonight. Yeah. Working at the pyramid. Ooh, and see the part where I where where I was equating this to like pyramids is like I said with the complexity and it was mo more musically excuse me, than the lyrics, where I felt like when I think of pyramids, they're like amazing infrastructures and you have to like build upon and build upon and build upon for it at least. And that's what I was thinking of when um he was referring to pyramids because he's building a layer on top of a layer on top of a layer of his, of the music. And even with the lyrics as well, like I said, it's so complex. It's so... And, the way it is, it's like so beautiful, it's so beautiful. And it's not in a way, it's like almost like creating like this illusion within my mind. So I don't know, I love it because that's what I was thinking about with the song, but I guess I'm going like down a whole different road and a whole different avenue, but let's get back into it. You showed up after work, I'm bathing your yeah. body, touch you in places only I know. You're wet and you're warm, just like our bath water. Can we make love before you go? Mm. The way you say my name makes me feel like I'm that nigga. But I'm hey, come on. You say it's big, but you take it. Right, girl. But your love ain't free no more, baby. But your love ain't free no more. She's working at the pyramid tonight. Working at the pyramid. Working at the pyramid tonight. Working at the See what I'm thinking about him saying working at the pyramids. I'm thinking that work like the pyramids may be a strip club or some type of club because he's saying she's working at the pyramid. So maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I don't know. Like his like his lyrics are so complex and you gotta like they're so poetic. Like his metaphors are crazy. Oh, I like that. That guitar was dope. Guys, I spaced out at that part. Wow, that music took me somewhere else. Like I, I had to snap back into reality. I went to a whole different dimension with that whole, with the music. This music just takes you places. Crazy how I just heard this song just now.
That was dope. I like that. That was a, this was an amazing track. I'm here for this. Okay, so let's quickly talk about Frank Ocean with Pyramids. I thought he did an amazing job with this. I'm definitely not going to rate this because Frank Ocean is just like a lyrical genius and a musical genius when it comes to music and executing his point. So I feel like I would be sacrilegious to even try to sit there and give this uh, a score because this is unscorable. Like this is just something that is just pure art at its finest. Um, I love it because... Frank Ocean just takes you on like this poetic journey through his music. Like I said, through his metaphors and his similes and just everything of the way he writes. Something like just goes through his mind where he just gets taken to like an absolutely f mythical land or phenomenal place. And he's, at, he's so masterful at eloquently executing a story and sharing that story with you. Like I feel like whenever I listen to his music, which is only a few songs, but even with this one, I feel like I'm listening to like a poem put to music format. Because like, for example, when I like listen to Swim Good, like I said, I feel like I'm like underwater. When I listen to like Godspeed, I feel like I'm, I was time traveling through space, through his relationship from beginning to end of like this up and down hill of like toxicity um when i listened to novocaine i felt like i was like numb like i was put under the like i was put under like novocaine and was like just spaced out and just completely out of it like you know when they sit there and numb you when they're pulling out your like teeth or just anything or getting a surgical procedure or anything that's the type of genius that he possesses to be able to execute all these emotions and feelings through his music and, and exercise them out of you and make you feel things that you would have never thought that you could feel and make you sense things that you never thought that you could sense when it comes to his music. I think he does an absolutely phenomenal job. I love this song and this is like my fourth song listening to listening to of Frank Ocean's but he never seems to fail me and I thought he did an absolutely phenomenal job with this track. So um, let me know what you thought of with Pyramids in the comments below. And with that being said, please remember to be safe out there. Remember to stay awesome. Be awesome because you guys are all awesome. This is your boy Mark and I'm signing off. Deuces. Peace.